Thanks to Alan, Lab Rats, and all of you for inviting me to speak today. I'm sorry I can't be there with you in person, but I did want to record a short message of support because just before Christmas, I was honored to meet with John and Archie. And listening to their stories about that of them and their families was a moving experience. And I was filled with both a sense of awe at their incredible bravery, but also fury at the treatment that they've had at the hands of the British state. The 70 year cover up of Britain's nuclear test veterans is a scandal that remains a stain on our country's history. It defies all reason that in 2022, the UK remains the only nuclear power in the world to deny recognition to thousands of servicemen who sacrifice so much for their country. The failure of successive governments to acknowledge the heroism of you and your loved ones is an insult, insult not only to your legacy, but also to the very idea of natural justice. And like many of you, I was raised to believe in the institutions that purportedly protect us. The government's shameful attempt to wash their hands of any responsibility means that 70 years on, you're still fighting for recognition and accountability. And unfortunately, your case is not an outlier. Our shared experience has shown that with these tragedies, too often the scales of justice are weighted in favour of the establishment. Hillsborough, Grenfell Tower, the contaminated blood scandal, the list is lengthy and the pattern is always the same. The government tries to deflect the truth, they defend the indefensible, they claim it's all about money, they suppress, cover up and pass the book. Alongside Andy Burnham, and the victims of other miscarriages of justice, we're calling for a Hillsborough law now. And our campaign is built on four key pillars. A public charter for families, bereaved through public tragedy, that's legally binding. A duty of candor on public servants to tell the truth. Equal representation for bereaved families at inquests through publicly funded legal support and an end to the near limitless spending that public bodies have and a public advocate to act for families of the deceased after major incidents. But we know that we can't turn the hands of time back about Hillsborough, but we don't want anybody to go through the same struggles for truth and justice. The Hillsborough families might never see justice. To this day, nobody's been held accountable for the deaths of 97 people unlawfully killed in 1989. But with your support, we can ensure that there's a legacy to rebuild the imbalance in the political and judicial systems in this country. So have a great day as best as you can. Um, and hopefully next time I'll see you all face to face, but you've got my support.